who are now recording. So, hello, my name is Sam Harlow, and as I said before, I'm the online learning librarian as well as the public health and kinesiology librarian for UNCG University Libraries. So, UNCG Libraries came up with the idea to create a series of webinars for the UNCG community on research and applications. Um, so things related to research and library applications. This is the fifth in webinar in the series, and welcome. In this series, different librarians will cover topics on UNCG library resources and research tools. These 30-minute webinars will be recorded in the WebEx Meeting Center, where we are now, and placed on the library webpage through YouTube, where they will be closed captions and have um, this available for the public. So I'm putting that link in the chat so you have it and that will also be sent out to you after this webinar series. So first let me cover some logistical things about how this webinar is going to run. Please mute your audio during the presentation by clicking the audio icon next to your name to turn it red, but feel free to turn your audio back on by clicking the audio icon again at the end of the webinar to participate in a conversation and questions um, with the presenters. If you do not have a microphone, you are also welcome to participate in the chat. If you have questions throughout the webinar, please put them in the chat, and I will track the questions in the chat while the presenter slash presenters present the materials. If there are any technical issues throughout the presentation, feel free to call me. I'm putting my number in the chat as well as my email. Um, I have my email open, so feel free to gchat me or email me if there's any issues as well. So let me present the, um, let me introduce the presenters, um, but before that, does anyone have any questions which you're welcome to put in the chat? Okay, so this session is on APA Style Central. This webinar is being presented by Leah Leninger, the UNCG Health Science Librarian, as well as Karen Gregg, the Science Librarian. In this session, we are going to learn about APA Style Central, an online guide to the writing style from the American Psychological Association. We are going to see tutorials, sample paper, papers, and more. So now I'm going to hand over the hosting abilities to Leah so she can begin. So Leah, here it comes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that introduction, Sam. I'm going to start sharing my screen, or actually my, uh, my web browser here. So do me a favor and just chat a little um, yes if you can see the library homepage. On my computer, it's still loading a bit, so it looks a little funky. How, how's it looking on your end? Y'all are seeing it? Oh, great. Okay. Perfect. So API Style Central is a database that we subscribe to. Um, I want to let you know that, yes, it is linked with other databases and e-resources on the research guide for your subject. In this case, it's mostly communication sciences and disorders. But um, the shortcut that I'm going to show is just, if you know the name of the resource you want to get into, it's APA Style Central. On the library homepage, you can come to databases and just navigate to the A's and then down to APA Style Central. A lot of scrolling. We have so many good databases. <laughs> and here we go. If you're off campus, when you click into this link, you'll be asked to log in with your iSpartan account. I'm on campus, so it just recognizes me as being affiliated with UNCG, and it, it lets me write in. So. This is a really great resource that has a lot of help for writing, a lot of information for writing, and a little bit on researching as well. If you want a little overview later, you can always click on I am a student and you can watch a little video. But basically, APA divides this up into a few areas, learn, research, write, and publish. You'll see that in the tabs up top and down here. The learn area is one of my favorites. It has short videos under quick guides. It has longer tutorials that you can click through. It has self quizzes. These are not graded. This is just for you to test your own knowledge. And it also has um, sample papers and sample references. So if I go to tutorials, for instance, I am going to set them so that I can browse by topic instead of by title. And I'll come into writing. But you can see there's publishing and researching as well. Um, 
So I might be interested in, um, say, getting started with APA style, and I might want to look at a references list video. Or sorry, a tutorial. <laughs> and it loads in the middle of the page here. Yay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it for a minute. I could click through um, at my own speed if I wanted to. Tutorials are a little bit longer, usually um, 10 minutes or so. I can open up the sections up here at the top and click into um, something a little more specific if I want. And there are some details over here. I can click on details and it will actually um, give me a reference to the page number um, that this is referring to in the manual of the publication of the um, APA. So just to let you know, this entire database is filled with tutorials and helpful tools for APA style, but it, does, it doesn't actually replace the manual. It's not an online manual, but if you want to go back to that, um, you can see here, this is, this is where you'd go. So I'm going to come back up here to learn. And just to show you um, two other things really quickly in this area, I can go to sample references if you're thinking, okay, I want some help setting up a reference or seeing an example. You can browse by topic and scroll down. And one of the things I'm asked a lot is how do I cite a web page? So I might click on web page and maybe there's a group author or no author. And I can pick whatever matches my source the closest. I'll click on it. And if I scroll up a bit, it will just give me a little um, template right here, an example. And I just put the information from the source I have into this format. And of course, I can click more like this. And over here, if you wanted to see a sample paper, you could. You click on sample papers, and it's still set to browse by topic. So um, you can look at papers in different types of papers in APA style. Just click into the type of paper that you want and choose it. And then over here in the uh, right side, there's a thumbnail. And you click to open it up. And you can see it shows you a running head, the title page. And um, I would click on this title page if I wanted to see uh, the full paper and what it looks like. So just to let you all know, this is the APA gives really good guidance on writing papers. But there isn't always a rule for every single thing you want to do. It's wonderful to see these examples. And, and I'd encourage you to, to use them. But um, Always uh, look at the guidelines given to you by your instructor or, if you're publishing, by the journal itself, the instructions for authors, okay? Your source in that way, your, your kind of target population is always going to be your, your ultimate go-to if you're, if you're publishing something. Does anybody have questions about the learning area, some of the things I've shown, tutorials, sample references, or sample papers? And I'll pause just for a moment. OK, so I'm not seeing responses just yet. I know I've got Sam uh, over there on the back end kind of keeping an eye out for. Yeah, there's no question from the chat right now. Great. OK, so I'll continue. Um, there are some kind of advanced features that you can take advantage of if you create your own additional um, personal account directly with the database. So. You always do have to have an iSpartan account handy if you want to get into the database because this is um, a library subscription. But if you would like to um, create some information in the database or store some of your information in the database, you can create your own account directly with the database to do that. And the place you do that, um, the easiest, I think, to find is under the Welcome tab. Click on Login. And of course, if you don't have an account yet, you go to create. I'm just going to log in since I already have an account. And it takes me right back to APA Style Central, the main view. But now it says Welcome Leah, so I know I'm logged in. Um, so I'll just mention really briefly um, under the research area. If you are um, running your own research study, 
this database does um, give you an area where you can develop a research idea. Um, you can track your participants. It's kind of like an online lab notebook. It's actually, this is a description of what it is, but it's located in the right area that we're just about to look at. So I'm just going to tell you, yay, nice feature. It is something that you do need to have your, your own personal account with APA Style Central to use. And another feature that you need your own account to use is write. So you have the ability to write papers inside the database. It will ask you questions and give you sort of a template to guide you through writing a paper in APA style. And I'm just going to um, show a little overview of this. So um, I'm going to click write a new paper. And yes, it gives me some templates. Um, I'm going to choose basic paper. And it asks me what the goal is. Um, if, if this was a professional manuscript, it would ask me a couple of extra questions. I'm just going to leave it set to student assignment. And if I did decide that this is something that I wanted to publish later, I could add some other sections to it if I wanted, either in the um, database itself or later after I download the paper into Microsoft Word. So it starts off by asking me my paper type my paper title. I'm not humble at all, so I'm just going to, you know, give it a basic title here. And click Start Writing. And it tells me right off, you know, do, you, um, do I want some help? And it lets me know that there are some help videos for different um, teachers in the write a paper section. So I'm going to point this out too. This is nice and, and it is a good idea to look at the help videos to see how to do this. And it just starts me off. I just type into the page. Um, of course, with APA, you usually have sections for your papers. So you can use this add a section if you're going to have sections in your paper. And I'm going to type a section title. And essentially, I'm typing onto the page. This is going online over to um, APA, and it is being saved on their server. So yes, I need internet access to do this. I need to be logged in. Um, but the paper is being saved in the website inside my personal account, which is kind of nice. And so you just Right, and um, you can keep adding sections and keep adding text if you'd like. Um, you can add references if you want to. I will click on references just so that you can see what it's like. It would actually take me over to another section. It would take me outside the paper if I wanted to add references. So just to mention this, um, there are a couple of ways that you can add references to a paper. Um, one, you can do a search, and if you search a topic, it's going to look through records from the Psych Info database, so it will look through psychology and behavioral health literature to see if there's an article that, that matches what I want. Now, obviously, you might be citing something else. You might be citing uh, something that you found in PubMed or on Google. You might be citing a book chapter, so um, there is also an option to create references. So the workflow for this is you add references to your account, and then you add them to your paper. And this whole website is about APA style. So um, the references will be in, in APA style. I'm going to come back over to my paper. And I'm going to choose go to my papers. My wonderful research paper. And you can add, if you want, tables. You click on the table, you can add a new one, and you have choices to create or import. The same thing for figures or appendices. You can create one right in here, or you can import a table. You can check your manuscript. Um, and the checks that it does are really APA style checks. So headings um, uh, are all the headings at the same level. Um, also, references, if you did decide you were going to use 
the references in this database. It would check to make sure that there is um, a references list citation for every in-text reference and vice versa. Um, and well, so on and so forth. Um, and of course, you've got settings if you want to change those in the export tool. You can email or just download your paper. And the references, um, I know I keep referring to these. That's what people tend to get really excited about. So I'll just mention they are stored in this database. They come out only in APA style. And um, it does take a little bit of work to get them in. And this product is not a a full featured citation management product. So if you love this paper writing tool, if you really want to get a paper that is, I'll click on preview here. Um, if you want to use a tool that guides you through creating a paper in APA style from, um, you know, correcting your, uh, your capitalization in the, in the title page, putting a running head in, and um, putting your, um, your headings in and so forth. Um, the simplest thing to do, I think, is just write your paper and then download it. And then you can do your grammar check and spell check in Microsoft Word. And if you do use a citation management product, you can, when the paper's in Microsoft Word, use an EndNote as a Tero and other product. But, but if you love this and you are only going to be using APA style, um, of course, um, you know, feel free to use the references. To, to add references to this paper. Um, the one thing that I do want to emphasize with these accounts, if you decide that you do like the tool that helps you write a paper online in this database, is that this is connected to your account that you have access to while you are at UNCG. This is a subscription product. So before you leave UNCG, if you have created references, if you've created papers, um, and I should have pointed this out before, <laughs> research lab book, if you've used this to track a research project and plan it, make sure that you download or export your data before you leave UNCG, okay? My own account, this Leah that, that I've created this, um, is going to save the data for up to two years, but you don't want to forget something and, and just not have it. So definitely make sure to keep it. So I'm going to pause there and ask if anybody has any questions at this point. There's nothing in the chat, Leah. Okay. That works for me. Let's see. We have got um, other things in this, in this database that are really helpful. Um, one final area, the publish area. So if you click on publish, it gives you tools for finding um, a journal that would be a good match for a manuscript. So you can either browse the journals and see descriptions of psychology and behavioral health journals, or you can go to advanced search. And there are a lot of things that you can search. Um, if you're using a specific test or measure, you can type it in and see what sort of journals have published articles that include um, that research instrument. You can do the same thing with a population. Um, I usually just in search term, I might type a topic. So I'm interested in information literacy. I'll see what sort of um, psychology journals or behavioral health journals have published articles that have to do with information literacy. So I get some results and maybe assessment and evaluation in higher education. I might want to think about publishing in that journal. So I'll open this up and I get a little description up at the top about the journal and then it talks about articles published in the last three years, which populations were included, what types of research study, um, who the first authors were, and of course what, which instruments and, and so on and so forth. And there's even a submit manuscript button. And this just goes out to the publisher web page. So if I were to click this, it takes me outside of um, APA Style Central and it takes me over to the publisher's web page. All right, so there are, there was one other thing that I wanted to make sure that you all knew before I finish up, and that is getting help. So if you want more information, you want to, gets more help, um, just because we're in the database right now, 
I will um, show you that if you scroll down, there is help directly from APA, phone number and email. And of course, you can also ask um, a liaison librarian. So I'm the librarian for communication sciences and disorders. So as well as the person teaching this webinar. So um, I'm a good person to ask for help if you're not sure um, sort of who your librarian is or who can help you. Um, you can come to the library homepage and go to research guides and choose your subject or your home department. So for instance, if I choose um, CSD here, you'll see that my picture pops up on this guide um, and you get my phone number, my email, and also schedule an appointment button. So I'm going to flip back over to APA Style Central and we have a few minutes left, so I'm going to open it way up at this point for questions in case anybody has discussions or I know at least one person has, um, they mentioned they um, have started to use this database a little bit and they weren't sure. So are there some things that you would like to know or questions that you had when you initially started using it? Go ahead and chat in and let us know. Thanks, Leah. As of now, there's nothing in the chat. But um, like Leah said, feel free to unmute your microphones or put it in the chat and I can field it, whatever you guys prefer. One thing, um, and I can't remember if you showed this or not, when I first set up my account, it was a little challenging for me to find the place where you go to do it. Um, okay, so yeah, good point, Karen. So when you first come into the database, if you want to set up an account, come to this welcome tab. Um, or if you think, you know, hey, I just want to write a paper, let me go ahead and log out and you'll see what it looks like. Um, if you're just in here and you think, yeah, I want to write a paper inside this database, I want to get that help, that guidance, um, you can click on write a paper and then write a new paper and you'll actually be prompted to log in with your own account or if you scroll down, um, you'll be prompted to, to set up your own account with the database. So good reminder on that. Are there any other questions? So some people have chatted in and said not at the moment. Okay. Karen, do you have a question? I see you raised your hand. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Hello, can y'all hear me? Yep, I can hear you. You re-muted yourself, Karen. I was hearing you, but now I see the mutes back on. You're welcome to chat it in, too. I just unmuted you, Karen. So Karen says, um, I use... I used the write paper feature. It allowed me to drop in citations as I wrote, which I liked. The professor told me the title page was incorrectly formatted. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That is good to know. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, my gosh. I have not heard. Yeah, <laughs> I had not heard that either. So well, my, my two things about that is just that, like, all of these tools, including Zotero, are not perfect. So I typically do recommend to do like a double check, but that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. That's one of the big points of the database is to, is to help you um, learn about APA style and the format. So, um, yeah. Sorry about that. And definitely, you know, refer back to the, oh, man, that stinks. And also let us know when that kind of stuff happens because we can, you know, if we have like a session with APA um, mm -hmm. Style Central, which sometimes we do as librarians, um, you know. And then another librarian pointed out, you know, the professor could also be wrong. <laughs> sometimes professors are going off of, you know, older versions of APA and that kind of thing. And some people do, I mean, I, I will say this, I've, I have heard sometimes different things from Different professors. Sometimes they've they've developed their own take on on a certain style, and they <laughs> so that that happens. Um, 
Well, at least I like the tutorials. I think the tutorials are pretty good. <laughs> are there any other questions? Or comments? Like, you know, have other people seen issues with it? Or what you liked or didn't like? Well, I'm going to assume that the silence is um, good. I mean, Karen wrote, overall, I liked using it, especially the way it checks the citations. Ooh, okay, nice. Nice. So use, so exactly what, what uh, Sam mentioned is use it, but just double check it, keep an eye on it. It maybe will save you some labor, um, but it uh, doesn't replace the, the uh, educated eye. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and and Sam, um, do you want me to pass the ball? I'm over? passing it back to myself. Oh wow! <laughs> but I'm not. All I'm going to share is um, let me just share real fast that there are. more webinars in this series. So this was our one on APA Style Central. Um, the next one is on Access Medicine also by Leah and Karen. And then the February one is on Data Management by Linda Kellum. And you can see there's more in the series. Um, this series will go on past the fall as well. So definitely um, feel free to sign up for these um, and other series as well. Um, and that's it. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, everyone have a great day. I'm going to end this, and we'll send the recording out uh, once it's processed, which would hopefully be in a couple of days. So it was great to see everyone in the virtual world and talk to everyone. And thank you, Leah and Karen, for your great presentation. And that's it. Everyone have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yep. Thanks, Marie. Okay, so Leah and Karen Grigg, <laughs> I'm going to sign out. Do you guys okay. have any other questions for me as the host? Um, no, not at all. Thank you. Thank Great you for having us. Yeah, Thank you, great. and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.